Okay, now what we've got here is a 1999 uh, Land Rover Defender 90 TD5 rolling chassis. We've just taken the uh, just taken the body off of it because it's got to have a new galvanised chassis on it. Um, so while it's while the body's off, I'm going to show you just how bad sometimes Defender chassis can be. Bear in mind, as I say, this one was only a, a 1999 chassis, but it's incredibly rusty at the front end. Um, we think because it had a um, a front tow bar on the front bumper, we think it's been used to pull boats in and out of the water, and has got really um, really salty around the front end. Anyway, it um, it came into our workshop really just to have the uh, the offside front outrigger replaced because um, it had had a previously sort of previously done rather bad repair. But um, uh, when my workshop started digging into it, uh, they found that the chassis was basically. Well, it needed condemning. Uh, there was nothing, nothing to weld to, effectively. So um, we've bought a new uh, new Richards galvanised chassis, and uh, it's about to be transferred over uh, with new components, as you might expect. But to show you down here, this is the front near side dumb iron, which you can't see a lot of it when the body's on, but absolutely nothing in there to weld to. Uh, it's had a bad repair there at some point in the past. We've obviously knocked a lot of it out with hammers and stuff. It didn't have a particularly short MOT when it came into us. And it looks like, you know, repairs have been bodged and disguised and stuff over the years. Um, it's actually, someone's actually put a new rear cross member on it fairly recently, which is a bit pointless, really, given the, the state of the rest of it. The, center, the, uh, the front cross member here, again, rotten at the top. Once again, difficult to spot that when the uh, when the radiator's in and the body's on. Let me show you the offside dumb iron as well. Again, nothing left for us to weld to. You can get all the components, all the front dumb irons and everything, but um, the main rails um, underneath actually aren't too bad, but uh, it's going to have new turrets on it and everything. Um, this outrigger has been replaced and isn't in too bad a shape, it would appear. It's when you get down the back end here where the um, where the rear tub's held on, it's just awful. All the way around here. And as I say, it's had a rear cross member with extensions put on, you can see there, not that long ago. So the back end's actually not bad at all. It's almost worth us cutting the back end off, but we won't. Um, Again, the uh, the outrigger here, rotten as a pair. And once again, you can't really see that when the body's on because it sits on top of it. As I say, this Defender is only 20 years old. Around the back end again, as I say, it's had a, a rear cross member with, ex with long extensions actually up to um, up to the shock mounts here. Obviously, we've started dismantling the, uh, the shock mounts and everything. It's having new shock absorbers and everything on there. Um, this side of the uh, the rear of the body mounts isn't too bad by the look of it. But um, obviously, we've cut the, the outrigger off. But you can see in here, when we cut the outrigger off, this is what we found on the main part of the chassis. Um, it was all covered up with a mixture of tin and filler and all sorts of things absolutely dreadful and as i say it didn't have that short an mot on it um, obviously we've cut off the uh, the remains of the outrigger and again we'll work around to uh, to the front dumb iron there so that is especially if one that we think as with this one has been in the sea um my advice would be don't buy a Defender that you know has been used to pull boats in and out of the water, especially at the front end, because as we found with this chassis, it basically is, is scrap. And uh, uh, that's why this one's having a full galvanised chassis um, replacement, um, which should be done relatively soon. It's a shame, really, so it's around the back end. It's actually really, really quite solid, but uh, it's always a bit pointless putting... A whole new cross member and extensions on if the rest of the chassis isn't uh, isn't up to scratch and this one most definitely wasn't up to scratch so there we have it my name's simon you can reach me in the office on 0118 
907-1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. End.